Special Features of the Iranian Ballistic Missile Castle Breaker From Artificial Intelligence to Pseudo-Gliding Numerical Calculations The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, unveiled a new solid-fuel ballistic missile with a range of at least 1,450 kilometers on February 9, 2022 making it the longest-range tactical single-stage solid-fuel missile ever developed and fielded by any country with a weight of only one-third of similar long-range missiles. However, this is not the only special feature of this missile, as it includes a number of major advances that Iran has made in its dynamic and evolving missile industry through decades of continuous efforts. One of the major advances in this missile is probably the use of artificial intelligence, AI a first in the Iranian missile spectrum. This undoubtedly gives this missile a unique, unprecedented feature that makes defending against it very difficult. What does this mean? The use of AI is most likely directly related to missile maneuverability and pseudogliding, meaning that after re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, the Castle Breaker missile chooses a trajectory with complex and fast maneuvers determined by artificial intelligence based on the given conditions making the trajectory unpredictable for enemy missile defenses. The unpredictability is very challenging for anti-air defense systems. It presents challenges to sensor architecture, fire control, and the methods used to attempt to engage the missile. Previously, the canards attached to the warhead merely corrected the trajectory or performed a few pre-planned maneuvers in the final phase. But now, these rather large canards on the warhead of Castle Breaker enable the missile to penetrate anti-air defenses by means of AI. Another aspect of using AI is certainly determining the best trajectories for possible pseudo-gliding and heavy or semi-heavy maneuvering in the terminal phase. The warhead configuration of the Castle Breaker missile is triconical providing stability to the warhead during heavy maneuvers. Therefore, Drag is somewhat higher with this configuration than with the single conical configuration, but the larger warhead body and the rather large canards likely generate enough lift for a pseudo-glide up to 200 kilometers. This allows the missile to fly under radar coverage for the last 200 kilometers to the target, an ability that can massively increase its survivability. Artificial intelligence has previously been used in the context of Iranian RQ-170 drones flying in formation, showing that Iran has been investing in this key technological area for years. The extent to which the warhead can glide depends on the lift-to-drag ratio, the initial velocity, and the altitude at which the glide phase begins. Assuming that this warhead is designed to produce high drag, this means that the warhead has a low lift-to-drag ratio. Is a warhead with a low lift-to-drag ratio still capable of gliding in the atmosphere? To answer this question, I perform numerical calculations based on solving a set of coupled hypersonic differential equations for a group of low lift-to-drag coefficients ranging from 1 down to 0 0.4. All of these lift-to-drag ratios are small and absolutely reflect the drag reality of the current warhead. Here is a plot of altitude as a function of distance. In this graph, it is clear that the warhead of the Castle Breaker missile is still capable of gliding even at the lowest assumed lift-to-drag ratio of 0.4. If it starts or enters the glide phase from 80 km altitude and at a velocity of 3 km per second, it would glide between 70 and 80 km. However, for such high drag warhead assumed here, the sharp decrease of warhead velocity connected with change of angle of attack is considerable. If you take the lift-to-drag ratio equal to 1, which is not a significant number, the glide distance increases to 200 kilometers. In other graphs, the speed, altitude, and angle of attack of the warhead as a function of time for various lift-to-drag ratios are shown. Further numerical calculations were performed and shown in this diagram with the same lift-to-drag ratios, but at an altitude of 40 kilometers, the beginning of the glide phase, showing that these four lines, lift-to-drag ratios, 1, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, are separated from each other at a shorter distance in the glide phase. The lower the altitude of the glide phase and the closer it gets to the ground, 
In other words, the warhead glide distance is considerably shorter compared to the results assuming a glide phase altitude of 80 kilometers. Furthermore, reduction of the warhead velocity as a function of time is even sharper and occurs sooner. From the footage previously published by Iran, it appears that the velocity at the moment of impact is 2 to 3 Mach, indicating heavy maneuvers after re-entering the Earth's atmosphere that cost a lot of kinetic energy. Therefore, from these numerical calculations, it can be concluded that even if the warhead of the Castle Breaker missile is designed to be capable of heavy maneuvers to escape enemy defenses, assuming the warhead can withstand a high G-load and will not disintegrate, it still has the ability to act as a pseudoglider. Whether or not it functions as a pseudoglider depends on the trajectory or flight profile being considered. It should be noted that an initial speed of 3 km per second is considered in these calculations, which is a reasonable estimate. However, if this speed increases, the glide distance will naturally, especially if the glide phase begins at a higher altitude, increase. The range of the missile in general will increase, too. In addition to artificial intelligence and pseudoglide, this missile is extremely outstanding from the tactical point of view, making it possible to attack Tel Aviv directly from the east of Tehran, the capital of Iran. The reason is that it has a composite body and probably a lightweight motor body, uses high-quality solid propellant, possibly with fine aluminum powder on the order of 1 to 20 microns, with the addition of advanced nanothermite materials which in combination accelerate the burning process. This can be clearly seen in the launch video released by Iran. The generated thrusts accelerate the missile to hypersonic speeds in a short time. The boost phase is so strong that a plasma envelope quickly forms around the warhead as it ascends into space, temporarily blocking radio communications. The high initial boost reduces the effect of gravity on the missile body due to the high acceleration, increasing the range and shortening the flight time of the missile. As a result of using advanced solid propellant, the accuracy of the missile increases as it reaches its target faster. This missile, like the precision tactical missiles unveiled in recent years, uses an advanced fiber optic gyroscope that reduces the missile's circular error probability, CP, to less than 5 meters, rather less than 2 meters for such an incredible range as shown in the footage released by Iran. This accuracy at such ranges is outstanding and surely a masterpiece. With respect to the warhead design, the Castle Breaker Triconic warhead provides more space for a heavy high explosive charge compared to simple or biconic old designs. According to the Iranian military, it also carries a new type of explosive, likely RDX or an enhanced type of RDX. In addition, such a design improves the stealth characteristics of the warhead, therefore reducing the radar cross-section, RCS, and the detection range. Probably one of the most important characteristics of all Iranian missiles is their low-cost production allowing them to be mass-produced, and Castle Breaker is no exception. IRGC already mass-produced this missile and stored in large numbers in various undermountain bases ready for the launch order. Another important aspect of this weapon system is its fast launch preparation. According to the Iranian military, the preparation time has been reduced to one-sixth compared to other launch systems, indicating the use of a new launch system. This considerable reduction in preparation time is likely due to the use of Dynamic Reference Unit DRU system, which allows the operator to quickly determine the true north and based on it the correct direction in which the missile will fly towards the target. Finding the correct direction is off-course key to precisely hit the target. Systems like DRU makes preparation process automatically and fast. The Castle Breaker missile is 10.5 meters long, 80 centimeters in diameter and weighs around 4.5 tons which is light given the staggering range. Overall, the special features of the Castle Breaker such as AI plus glide capability plus advanced solid propellant plus composite casing plus maneuverability plus heavy high explosive warhead and high accuracy plus low-cost mass production have created a nightmare missile for any potential receiver. This missile will be key for a large-scale low-cost Iranian attack on Israel's key nuclear 
and military sites in response to an attack on Iran's nuclear facilities. Thanks for watching and see you next time.